This episode of Doggy Diamonds No Filter is sponsored by Dioko. Dioko stands for Don't Envy Others, Compliment Others. And you could do that today by going to purchase yourself a t-shirt for men and women at dioko.me. Dioko. Stop the looting, stop the shooting. Big pocket on the corner. See, as the rich is getting richer, the poor is getting poorer. See me and Maria on the corner, thinking of ways to make it better. Can't be. Oh, Maria, Maria. Ghetto and blues. She, she reminds me of a West Side story. Yes. The originals. Three months later, we working in the studio with Carlos Santana. Did y'all know who he was? Nah. Hell no. We didn't know who the hell he was. He walked in the room with some incense and rugs and shit. We thought, <laughs> we thought he was a guitar guy bringing in the guitars. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, the play. Helper. Yeah, he, he uh, yeah, what do they yeah. call a, 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 a session? What is that shit called? Um, a roadie. Yeah, a road, but it's a it's a it's um, something else called it's something, it's a, I don't it's, know. it's another word. Yeah, that that name. instrument placer. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, no, it's it's somebody who just plays tech. just for sessions. Like they're not oh, okay, um, okay. They're not really a part of the group or nothing. Work for but, hire. Yeah, work for hire. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we, yeah. That shit. We, I didn't see. I didn't think he was that. I just I just thought he was part of the studio thing. Yeah, we yeah. thought he just you know, and um, Clef stuff. was like, listen, he's a, a, a legend. Yeah. And this and that, you know, we we listen to everything Clef say, you know. So he was like the big brother, and. We like, all right, cool. He was like, yo, we got a, I got an idea. Let's watch this West Side Story shit. And when we watched it, I already watched it a long time ago with my mom's, but when I saw it again, it reminded me of how me and Money Harm was at odds, like we from two different places and shit like that. So we kind of took that inspiration and just we freestyled. We ain't do no really writing, putting down. We freestyled that whole fucking record. And then you said, remind me, and that's funny because that's some of the words in the song, it reminded you, you, me you, you, of... You, you get it. Yeah, you get yeah, it. Yeah. So... so um. Y'all wrote that, Maria. yeah, yeah. Wow. And Clef wrote some too. We all like of, came. Okay, it was a collaboration, okay. but we we put that stink on it. And yeah, yeah, um, yeah. and um, Clive Davis was in love with us. Like, yo, these dudes is it. And this is uh, during the time he had um, with, with the new the new label with um, Alicia Keys. Yeah, no, nah, Jay Records, Records wasn't an inventor yet. It was still no, we Arista. Was, he was yeah, getting ready. Arista, he was getting ready to do it because he bought us off of Columbia. He spent like two mil. I'll tell you that story in a minute. We'll, we'll get up to we'll, that. We'll get to that. So you, so you do this record with Carlos Santana. Y'all, the record was dope. Thank you, man. And then you was just like, yeah, this is a dope record. Did you really realize what the fuck was about to happen? Not until we came off tour with Prize overseas. So y'all went on tour with Prize? Yeah, because he what had the gutter superstar. We was on his that album. That was a big record, too. We was touring yeah. with him. We was doing a lot with him. You know what I'm saying? So when we came back from tour and we got off the tour bus, um... Uh, Clef's road manager was like, yo, y'all don't even know how big y'all are right now. Y'all don't even know how big this record is. Watch this. Right? So we like, all right. He gave us the microphones. We had a college um, uh, tour. And Clef is out you know, on stage. He's like, yeah, I got the biggest group in the world right now. The biggest record in the world is number one. And me and, Clef, and, me and Money Home looking at each other like, fuck are you talking about right now? You know, we knew that Maria was coming out yeah, yeah, and on yeah, the radio, yeah. but we didn't know. So when the shit dropped, boom, 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 the place, it was a riot, fam. We had to start all over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah. were trying to rush the stage and shit. And we came out, <laughs> it was pandemonium, fam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was rap. That's what we knew. This I know you got mad pussy off that shit. You was, a lead, <laughs> you was singing the lead. I know that shit was like some old neck, like some of the best pussy ever. I, if he, you know, if he married, I seen the wedding ring. You know, I ain't yeah, trying yeah, to, yeah. I, saw, I ain't I trying to that. do no bullshit. <laughs> I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to dirty Mac and no shit. Yeah, I'm not trying to do none of that shit. But man, this was back in the days, though. This yeah, was, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, but <laughs> when you did this and then you hit the stage, you from going from school street. Studio now you on these fucking things. Then you starting to do stadiums and shit. When did it hit you? Like hold up, I'm 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 the shit a little bit. Like I'm alright. When did it hit you? Well, me personally, I, I can't really say when it really hit me because okay. I'm you know growing up like I played football. Okay. And when like I was the man in football. Okay. So I was the guys that they had. What to position stop, you played? Kick off return, punt return, oh, okay. starting running back and corner. Wow. So I was. Was he Bo out. Jackson? Yeah. Yeah. So Easily. in order for the, I mean, order for the team to uh, beat my team, they had to stop me. 
Facts. So I was used to getting the touchdowns and the, the praise running into the end zone, leaving everybody who came, you know. So, like, when we got to the crowd, we'd been doing talent shows. We knew what we could do with the people. We knew, that we, you know, we just didn't know what impact worldwide or was, to the, to the masses shit. of that type of industry or level. It's different levels to the shit. Do y'all know I was number one in mad countries? Yeah. 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 Like in, in mad countries, platinum in mad countries. Because, you know, some countries, 50,000 is, is platinum. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think the single sold 15 million and counting. The album, his album sold 30 mil. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So 98 million views and counting <laughs> right now. Well, as I say this, by the time the footage go out, mm-hmm. it'll be like a hundred or something. Oh like that. no. Yeah, you That's know, not... I'm gonna tell you when I felt when I felt it. When, when I you felt... got special pussy, right? Like no, no it was okay. it, it, no, it was some shit going on. Okay. Yeah. But um <laughs> when 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 I when I when I bought my house, uh-huh, and when we was like hanging out with Destiny Child, I mean like phone call away to talk to Beyonce and just chilling, like we just chilling. That's when I knew, like, we we in a different uh You know what the next question is coming Nah. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you know where it come from that. A nah. phone call from Beyonce. So yeah, you, you, you could have been chat- Jay-Z was- then, if that's the case. No, nah, because right? we all came up from Sony. <laughs> so when we came Yo, up from Sony, it was like, no, no, no. And we was the young boys with Clef. So we was on tour with Prize, and they kind of toured a little bit with us every now and then. And we'll see each other. All right, they was you ain't trying to smash, though. I, was, I mean. Listen, man. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to commercial? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, shout out to Dioko and shit for the hat and the, and the shirt. But it was like sisters in, in yeah. the industry to us, you know what But I mean? this is what this is the old Destiny child. Yeah, so, yeah when it was before. like four of them. Okay, like before. Four of them. I mean, and actually three of them. Yeah, we, yeah, it was three of them, and then when they had the other new girl, it was Farrah, Farrah that came yeah, in. Yeah. We were still around Destiny child. Wow. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And they they always showed us love every time, everywhere we went, they see us like, oh, Champ B. Yeah, they yeah. the ones who told us we won the Grammy. Yeah. Wow. Because we was late. Hold up, so y'all got a Grammy in the crib? We got, nah. Y'all ain't get your Grammy? That's another, that's another conversation, bro. Who ass I got to whip? It's, it's <laughs> three ready to we didn't get. Listen, you, you we, won we, three we Grammys? Won, yeah, we won three. Yeah. See, when you... And when you don't won. have the physical Grammy? Nah, nah. We never got the trophy. Actually, you let us hold it for a picture. No, 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 no. <laughs> Who we got to shoot now? Fuck whipping their ass. They let you hold this shit. So, how does that work, though? How the do you the get... fucked up part is everybody else got their Grammy. See, this Everybody is the, else got their shit. See, when you young in the game, like, like you say... Um, with, to the youth, yeah. See, when you're young in the game and you're just running, you're moving, you know everything is an illusion. You don't. You gotta know your business. You gotta know who's who's what, who's who, who do what, who to contact. Make sure they can contact you, and make sure you're handling. I mean, I'm dotting your eyes and crossing your t's. Right. When I say we didn't even know who Mike Green was, and he's the president of the Grammy Association. He wow. knew. I, he knew our name. He, he came, came to us. Right to us. Sincere money home. You know Congratulations. What I mean? So. It's called, you know, being on your job, lack of knowledge. So if you really want to get in this game, like how everything changed now since we were signed and everything, everything digital, everything is straight. Do your homework. Yeah, yeah do your homework. You know what I mean? And that's homework. what I would say to the anybody key. trying to do anything. And do you can't always, for a new group or a new act sometimes, it's like you could say, with talent, they see them coming. But if you know a little bit of the game or know, you know, know how to protect yourself with a lawyer, good lawyer, just have... And know which fights to pick too. So, so you want? I know Maria. Maria won a fucking Grammy. Yeah, right. Yeah. That definitely won a Grammy. The song itself won. Yeah. What else won a Grammy? It, that it, it, it was. It was first of all, it was best pop duo and group. Right, okay. For that category. Then it won for best album. You also get that. You Grammy. also get a Grammy. And then it was for best writing. Wow. So writers automatically. Listen, they want they fucking Grammys. I want a Grammy now because we gonna advocate. <laughs> Listen, we gonna advocate. So y'all at least got y'all plaques though, right? Yes, yeah, I got okay. a, my plaque is the size of that screen right there at my Dope. Crib. All right, that's cool. The plaques yeah, is fuck cool. The plaque. I want, my Grammy. want that fucking Grammy, man. That Grammy is, is, is real. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. Grammy shit is real. Yeah. They want their fucking Grammy. They deserve the Grammy. They, they and then it is well, think how deep this might be. What if, what if mm-hmm. DJ Khaled, Bryson Tiller, mm-hmm. and Rihanna win a Grammy for that song? That's a remake of your shit, and they get because you know they gonna get they shit. What if they get they shit before you get your shit? Then we got problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, when they when you heard that song, yeah. how did you know that that song was coming out? What's the name of that song? Wild Thoughts. Wild Thoughts. How did you how did you know that song was out or coming out or whatever? Well, Kali Peoples, they all reached out to me. Well, uh-huh. first Jeffy Wonder reached out to me and was okay. like, um, they remaking our record and doing whatever the hell he was doing to it. And you know, show some love. 
I, he was saying, I was like, well, I want, I want to hit a record first, and me and Money Homer figured it out from there. And um, Kylie had Sony ATV peoples, and they called me up, and then he, they called me from the studio, and they was like, yo, this is the record. They let me hear it over the phone. I was like, all right, they, the content is different. I, 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 I appreciate people paying homage. Create, creativity yeah. also, yeah. It was just that, you know, the message to me wasn't, it, it just diluted Maria a little because the message in Maria was a positive one. That shit ain't fucking with Maria, man. We gonna keep it all the way real. <laughs> that shit ain't fucking with but Maria. But you understand what I'm saying, yeah. though? Like, if you look at the Maria video, you see black, white, Asian, Latin, all in one room really rocking, and it's talking about something. Stop the looting, stop the shooting, pickpockets on the corner. As the rich is getting richer, the poor is getting poorer. It's, like you were it's conscious. Yeah, it's yeah, conscious, it's but conscious. you hear wild thoughts. It's like, bring that pussy over. You know, yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. some different shit. So, you know what I'm saying? So, could y'all have shut the record down or was yeah, it going anyway? We could have okay. shut the record down. Okay. So um did you know Rihanna was on it? Yes. And you so I, I mean that's a good thing. That's you, a great thing. You that's, knew Bryson, but well, I guess that helps him because definitely it helps his definitely. career. So is it is it for some of those reasons that you say let it live because it's gonna help them for sure. Still being nice and shit, right? Well <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, of course we wanna you want you want the recognition and you want some some, some people to pay homage and not just to Clef or Jerry. Yes. You want them to shout us out or show some sort of love too. Or even be like, yo, I'm, I, we got the remix. We're going to get the boys who really did it to come. You know what I'm saying? Not just trying to jack shit and think that, you know, shit is sweet. It ain't too late, you know? It ain't never too late. Right. Um, So that record comes, do you get, do you get paid for that record? Yeah. Yes. Do is your do you get your pub for that record? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So that I mean I guess it, it it works out in the end. Now do does it help you be able to go out now and do Maria Maria again? Like how does that work now? Well, we just got uh, finished doing a Billboard magazine um, article, and we did um, the Shade Room, and it's like a lot of people are talking about us again. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean. You got merch? Where's the merch? Or is that something that you you have? You gonna get that soon? Oh, this is yeah. This is this is basically one of my homeboys did this. Okay. Ghetto and blues. That's coming right soon. Here. So yeah, definitely coming soon. That's coming but, soon. We'll you know, keep y'all posted when the ghetto sure, and blues shit sure, come. Sure. So so um that record out like one of the biggest records right now. Um, when you hear that, do you be like, damn? I remember being in Switzerland doing this shit. Did y'all travel a lot doing? We that? traveled a lot, but not not. We didn't go to like to Africa or India, those kind of places, but we went over all over Europe and Caribbean. We didn't even touch, yo, we didn't even touch the Latin areas. Wow. Who we got to shoot? We got to shoot some, somebody got to get yeah, shot. Somebody got to get shot. No, <laughs> <laughs> no, we only serious. But um, listen, <laughs> so um, my, my whole thing is um, how for the, for the fans yeah. that don't know that that's y'all, for the, for the promoters, for the people that don't know, y'all still here, y'all still young, y'all still active, y'all don't look washed and fucked up and shit. You know, yeah. some nigga, nigga, jib be going and yeah. shit like, yo, it's yeah. over, my nigga, your teeth yeah. fucking missing. Yeah. Y'all still, y'all still, y'all still, <laughs> you know, in the game, right? Yes, sir. How could they get in contact with y'all? What's the best way for the promoters? What's the best way for your fan base? Let's start with the promoters. How could the promoters that might want to book you to perform that, how could they get in contact with you right now? Well, right now, they can yes. hit us on Instagram, okay. you know, at the product GMB, or they can hit Money Home. I don't know, what's your Instagram, Home? Um, at Marvin, at Marvin underscore more, the number three. And mine okay. is at Sincere Gubano, you know what I'm saying, G-U-B-A-N-O. Or oh, hit me, and I'm gonna hit, hit Trife, and, and Trife yeah, is gonna, you, you know, go. there you go. Yeah, we we just so, do it like that yeah, because we, I yeah. I think um you know what I'm saying I think for me it's like I said fan first yes sir then friendships after that yes, you know sir. what I'm saying yes, sir. like I love the music so I don't be listening to dudes sing like that you know because y'all wasn't really <laughs> sing you know because some you know y'all wasn't singing on no street shit y'all yeah. was singing mm -hmm. some conscious shit yeah. so it was like yo this shit is dope and then when I see somebody take somebody's shit and get all the recognition. I'm like, nah, y'all got to understand this from. shit is dope too. Yeah. So I would like to see y'all be able to, you know, hit that road again. And because and, y'all not even supposed to be home. At all. Honestly, with a At record all. like that, the, the impact that y'all made. When you sell fucking 30 something million, because essentially, yeah, it's Santana, but you was a part of that. And yeah. that was a single, that was the first single, right? That was or the, the Rob single. Thomas was Rob the first Rob Thomas was the first single. See, Rob Thomas was big Maria, too. Maria, they didn't think it was going to be that because because of who we was unknown. Yeah, because Lauren Hill had the other record, Lauren Hill and CeeLo Green. We was the B side. Yeah, we was the B side. So when nah, that Maria CeeLo, took it. I, nah, I ain't gonna front. I do like 
the, the, the CeeLo Green and Lauren Hill shit, but that Maria, Maria Maria shit was just, it just was a vibe. Yeah, the was vibe fine. was perfect. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And then he came, I was like, yo, he looked like he gonna rob somebody, but he just started singing good and shit. That's you know what I'm saying? You look like a crook and shit Puffy sometimes loved it. And shit. Puffy was loving that shit. You look like a damn criminal sometimes, but then you start singing. <laughs> I'm like, yo, hold up. You ain't supposed to be able to sing like that and shit. You look yeah. like, you, you know... So, so that's the shit that's dope. So the ghetto and blue shit just yeah. made sense because yeah. it's like at the same time, y'all look so street. Yeah. But then when you start singing, it's like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Some I, other I, shit. I, could vibe, I could vibe with it. You know what I'm saying? And, and that's the dope shit. And I just felt like y'all should have had access to more. So it right. ain't too late. Like I'm saying, it ain't too late. We going to do all we can to make sure the world knows Appreciate who product that. GMB yes, is. Sir. You know, and um, for the future endeavors. And then you want the motherfucking Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Diamond, um, I want to tell you something. Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Did you know that Maria Maria is um, the second biggest Latin record of all time? Latin record? Of all Say, time. So bigger than like Celia Cruz and Ma- Hector Ma- LaVoe? Macarena is the number one biggest Latin record of all time. Facts. Second is Maria Maria. Wow. And, it, and it's one of the biggest of all time, period, under that top 100 thing. Wow. Um, no, so. this this it's is definitely like like I said, people. for people to have to redo your shit, that means yeah. you made an impact, you yes, know what sir. I'm saying? In yes. 2017, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yes. You know, yes. you get swept under the rug sometimes. Yes, sir. So um what's your relationship like right now with Jerry Wonder and Wakla? Doggy diamonds, no filter. Doggy diamonds, no filter.